And welcome back to End Times Prophecy News. A sanctuary courthouse? That's right. California judge requests ICE removal for safety of illegals. Due to recent arrests, ICE has made on illegals going to court. California judge Tani Kentil Sakai called on Attorney General Jeff Sessions to bar ICE from stalking illegals at courthouses. Fat chance. I don't even think that uh, Attorney General Jeff Sessions will, he'll probably just throw it in the garbage. International Business Times reports President Donald Trump's first few weeks in the Oval Office set a president for the new White House administration to adopt his hardline stance on illegal immigration and undocumented immigrants. The radical overhaul of former President Barack Obama's policies alarmed federal judges who warned Thursday that the new president's agenda could turn courthouses nationwide into stalking sites for immigration officers looking to make arrests. See, last time I, I heard, I, I thought the word stalking refers to men who stalk women. Now we are calling the police stalking illegal people. How does that one work? Can you tell me? Tani Kantil Sakai, California's Chief Justice, called on Attorney General Jeff Sessions and Homeland Security Secretary John F. Kelly to bar Immigration and Customs Enforcement and Customs and Border Protection Agents and let all the illegals in, but bar and ban all the police. That's what she's saying from targeting and detaining undocumented immigrants visiting courts across the country. Oh, we're not going to just detain them. We're going to send them back. Multiple arrests of immigrants have taken place within the nation's courthouses since Trump was sworn into office January 20th, but not enough. Need a lot more. Breaking news, President Trump issues disaster declaration for California. If you haven't heard this, President Trump has issued a disaster declaration for California following the damage caused by the state's recent storm. From San Francisco Gate, Sacramento, President Trump issued a major disaster declaration Thursday that will trigger federal funding for California following an estimated $113 million in damage from late January storms in the state. Governor Jerry Brown sought the presidential disaster declaration marking the third granted by the president in just over a month. Trump previously approved Brown's request for aid for the Oroville Dam spillway damage and mass evacuations and to help the state deal with the widespread effects storms in early January. Well, praise the Lord for that. I didn't know that Governor Jerry Brown asked for help. This would be the third one granted by the president just over a month. But I thought... Jerry Brown wanted us to see the union and didn't need any federal money. Jerry Brown, you kind of remind me of the serpent in the garden that God cursed and said to walk on your belly all the days of your life. Yeah, you know, you're walking on your belly and your rear end sticking way up in the air like some people I know. wonder who they could be. And President Trump directly reaches out to family of Sandra Duran, who was recently killed by an illegal immigrant, Rodrigo Macias, fiance of Sandra Duran, who was killed in a car crash caused by an illegal immigrant, received a phone call from President Trump's offering his condolences. Wow. Mercury News reports. An our lead a man whose fiance was killed in a car crash last month allegedly by an undocumented immigrant who had been deported five times said he had received words of encouragement from President Donald Trump. Rodriguez, Rodrigo Macias appeared on the television news program Fox and Friends on Wednesday morning to discuss the death of his fiancée Sandra Duran, 42. After appearing on the program, Macias said he received a telephone call from Trump who offered him and the family his condolences and urged them to stay strong. Trump also said he's fighting hard to secure the nation's borders and to combat sanctuary cities. 
It tells you a lot about this president. Macias, a real estate broker, said during a telephone interview with the Southern California News Group on Wednesday evening, you can't have the local mayor do that, but the president of the U.S. went out of his way to do that for me. I'm very glad my fiance and I voted for him. In fact, I'm extremely happy. What a w nice story that is, isn't it? Thank you for listening. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land.